Okay, everyone. Let me... There we go. That's centered. I hope that wasn't off the whole video. Oh, well. Okay, so new changes. Um, I have different hair, as you see here. It's a bit darker than I thought it would be, but my color always fades really quickly, so I thought it would go darker to balance that whole thing out. Um, another thing... I have like three videos I haven't published and I think this is like the third one that I have filmed and haven't done anything with. Um, so, sorry about that. But this look is a beautiful gold smoky black eye. Um, I really like it. I think it's really fun. Um, obviously my wing is really, really out there, but I enjoy it. I hope you did too. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are going to be doing a gold smoky eye look and I'm going to be silent for a little bit because I am watching myself do this and I can see that um, I legitimately didn't know what I wanted to film for this video and I'm watching myself dance around and decide and it's it's kind of fun. Anyway, um, so you're going to see me not know what I want to do and then randomly put my brush on a palette and that's me saying I'm sorry for taking so long. Um, so yeah, and here we are. We're going to start off with the color Lucky from the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. It's a really pretty gold. I enjoy it a lot. And we are just going to put that on our lids and I'm going to make sure that that's nice and even throughout both of them. Next we're going to be taking our fluffy brush and we're going to be using the color Revolver which is a nice dark black from the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette as well. And that we're going to do on the edges of our eye and moving it slowly into the gold to make a nice blended color. And we're putting that pretty far into the crease of our eye. Um, we're making this dark because I said so apparently. And this looks a lot like the um, other eye look I did with the black on the inside and the outside of our eye. But this is just going to be the black on the outside and a little bit more of a angled sharper look as you can see here really making those edges dark and blending it into that gold I'm also watching Pride and Prejudice as I'm doing this um, so if you see me like smiling at random things off camera that's what's happening now we are curling our eyelashes warming it before we do and curl 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 I think Mr. Darcy's proposing in this scene that I'm watching because I, I look really happy. Anyway. Yep, he is. Anyway, so we're going to be taking our Maybelline Master Ink Liquid Liner and we are going to be lining both of our eyes with that. Doing a nice simple line to begin with and doing a quick wing. Now, this is sped up two times as fast, so trust me, it does not take me this little time to do my makeup um, or my eyeliner. Most of the time, it's a much more drawn-out process. Huh, get it? Drawn out. Okay, we're doing the other side now. And I, for some reason, can never get my eyes um, even whenever I'm doing this. It's just not a talent I possess quite yet, but I've been working on it. I think I've gotten a little bit better. This was originally filmed, I think, three or four weeks ago before I came to went to America. That's me noticing how uneven my eyes are and trying to desperately fix it. Eh, good enough. And we are going to be going in with our um, small angled brush and doing our brows and I'm using the color DTF again from the Vice 3 palette and doing our other brow as well And smoothing that out with a spool slash old mascara wand. Okay, now we are going to be going in with the gold and putting that on our lower lash line. Just a really quick swipe of it. And we're using a new um, mascara. It's called NYX Pin Up Tease. Pin, uh, I, th I think I've thrown it out since then. But it was a really cool brush. I just don't think the product was quite there. And I have a really hard time with mascaras, but, you know, 
so we're doing that um the brush only has bristles on one side so it'll be or on two sides so it's not a rounded brush so that makes it a little bit more um i wouldn't say difficult but it's easier to separate your lashes but it also makes it difficult to put it on so yeah the more i look at this the more i'm like you know what this mascara really wasn't that good so i just poked myself in the eye i'm fine okay and putting that on our upper and lower lashes as you can see here okay now that we have done that we are moving on to our nivea um men sensitive cooling push shave balm that you did not see me put on i just like smacked myself with it and that hurt a lot um but now we're moving on to the urban decay naked skin in the shade 3.5 it's the new foundation i bought and i'm using two pumps in this video and i have since stopped doing that because it's too much this is a very liquid foundation and it has really good coverage as you can see here so if you get this make sure you shake it really well and only use one pump because again you do not need this much and you can see how much product i'm putting on and i don't you don't need that much i mean if you want to build it and have a really really thick coverage yeah sure go ahead but for a light layer of foundation which is what everyone should be going for you don't need two pumps See how much I'm blending it in? Yeah, I did not need that much. Oy vey. Okay, now we are moving on to our finishing powder from NYX. It's the HD finishing powder. You're just going to see me pat that on. And now I'm finding the perfect lipstick, which is going to be from Kiko. Um, you know what? Let me find it. It's in the shade. Um, it doesn't say. It's a really pretty pink, though. Really bubblegum pink. I think this is the most pink color I own, to be completely honest. But it's really good. And I think that is it for today. So here we go. Alright guys, so that is actually going to be a wrap. Alright guys, so that is actually going to be a wrap on this gold smoky eye look. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please find me on Twitter at court underscore Lee 33 as you see here. Um, if you want to suggest anything, please feel free to text me. Most of you have my number anyway, those of you that watch this. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. Um, I'm kind of actually digging how vampy I'm coming across right now. Like, got like the nails and the dark and the, I really dig it, uh, to be completely honest. Um, so yeah, and you know how I said I filmed like three videos, um, while I was going through my camera to like film a little bit more and I deleted the first part of one of a video, like segment that I filmed. So now I have to go back and re-record like an entire tutorial that I had already done. <laughs> So it's going to be another like 25 minutes of work that I have to do at some point in time. But whatever, it'll be worth it for you guys. I hope you, like, I really, I really like the look that I did and I don't mind recreating it because I do it quite often to be honest. Um, if you see me smiling at all during this video, I was watching Pride and Prejudice and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I watch it a lot. It's over in the corner on my laptop over here. You are in front of me because you're important to me. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling on. Um, yeah, if you need anything, let me know. I'll put the products I used in below. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to know when I actually upload videos and things like that. Until then, I guess I'll catch you all on the flippity flip. Um, yeah, no, that's really it. Uh, okay, I hope you guys have a really good day, week. Good day, week, month, what have you. And remember guys, please, oh please, be anything but basic.